Hey everyone! Today I have a haul for you guys and this haul is going to be a bunch of beauty products, strictly beauty products, that I've gotten over the course of the month of January and I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I got because I got some really good deals and some really cool stuff and I think I might have found a few favorites. Before I get started with this haul, I just wanted to say that I'm not trying to brag about any of the things that I've gotten and I also wanted to put it out there that I bought everything with my own money and things like that so this isn't sponsored in any way. I'm just really excited to share the things that I got with you over the month. It's like telling your best friend what you got after a really fun shopping trip. So let's get started with this haul. So the first thing that I'm really excited about is this Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain by Revlon. And if you guys don't already know, I'm really obsessed with these as it is. But what made me really excited about this one in particular is that it's a matte lip balm and they just came out with a whole lacquer balm and like matte balm thing. So like one or the other you could choose from and I think they had a lot of the similar colors. And I picked this red one from the collection. I'm really excited about it because you guys know how much I love red lipstick. It's a really gorgeous color and it goes on really smoothly as well and I just love the way that it looks. These are also super moisturizing and the fact that it's matte makes it even better because it's not going to dry out your lips. And I'm really excited to wear this, especially in the month of February because Valentine's Day. The next thing I got is this NYX concealer in a jar and it's a full coverage concealer that I've really been loving. I'm in the shade beige which is also called CJ04 and I always at Ulta and I'm really excited about wearing it. And I really love that it gives me full coverage especially under the eyes because that's where I usually need the most coverage and I think you guys should try it because it's an amazing concealer. Next I have this Maybelline eyeshadow and this is an earthly taupe. It was actually on sale at Harman's and it was two dollars and two cents so you really couldn't go wrong with this. This one. That would be really good for a $20 makeup challenge or something like that because it was a really good deal and it's a really pretty eyeshadow. I don't really think it's taupe, it's more of a beige color, but I thought it would be really nice as like an overall lid color. I just think it would be really pretty to wear as an everyday eyeshadow. Wait, what? What? I found out that I have no school tomorrow. I should be excited. But I'm not, because now we get our long weekend taken away. Serena, we have no school tomorrow! Serena? <laughs> anyway, back to this haul. I have three new eyeliners that I picked up at the drugstore. The first one I have here is this Rimmel Scandalized Liner, which I used in my $20 makeup challenge Valentine's Day edition, and I love it because it's so easy to use. I would compare it... I wouldn't compare it to the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner, just because that one has like a longer brush and this one's pretty small but it is very easy to use and it'll make your life doing liner on the top a lot easier. The next liner that I have here is just a plain black coal liner by NYX because I've been running out of the eyeliner that I use on my waterline so I just picked this one up to try it and so far I really like it. I'm not sure if it's like a favorite because it does kind of like wear away throughout the day but I mean I like it for what it is. And then next I have this Rimmel Scandalized Liner and it's in Nude. And I have been looking for a nude liner by Rimmel for so long because everybody is like obsessed with it and I wanted to be obsessed with it and I am now that I have it. But every time I went to Ulta, it was always sold out and it was very upsetting. So I'm really happy that I finally found it and got my hands on it. And I actually got it at Harman's. It was the only place that actually had it in stock, in store, because everywhere else I went, it was not. And I'm really excited that I finally got my hands on it because I have been wanting it for so long. And it really, like when you put it on the waterline, it really brightens up your eyes and makes them look a lot bigger. So I'm definitely going to be switching this out with my black eyeliners. Next up I have this blush by Revlon and I actually got this on sale too. It was $2.42 considering that this blush is usually $12. It's just a cream blush and very flirtatious. I actually lost the one that I originally bought so I picked it up because it was such a good deal and I'm really excited to wear it all over again because I'm kind of obsessed with this and it was actually one of my favorites for a very long time and I was devastated when I lost it. So I'm really happy to have it again in my collection and I can't wait to be using it throughout the month of February. I lied. I actually have another eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild eyeliner. It's their like mega eyeliner that's pretty much waterproof and it's like 99 cents or something like that. I'm obsessed with this and I actually recently ran out of it so I had to go and pick up another one because it's the best liner I've ever tried to like go on the top. What is this called? What's that called again? Up next I have four OPI nail polishes and I know that's kind of a lot because OPI but wait till you hear the prices I got them for. I got one of the Minnie Mouse collection nail polishes which I'm actually wearing on my ring finger right now and it was $4.99 and this was in the color 
mini style. It is gorgeous pink and white glitter, and it's really thick glitter. It looks like on the actual nail. I really love the way it came out. I'll be wearing this like all of February. All of it, because I'm obsessed with it. Next, I have another glitter nail polish. This one's from the Wizard of Oz collection. It was also $4.99. And it is in the color When Monkeys Fly. I'm obsessed with this one too because I have been trying to get my hands on this forever. I actually almost ordered the entire collection, but then I was like, eh, like, do I really need the whole collection? So I'm really excited I waited because this is the color I was most like looking forward to. And I got it and at a discounted price. So I picked up this color. This is my private jet by OPI and charcoal color with like glitter in it. I actually wore this color the day of homecoming, but I borrowed Vanessa's. So you guys know who Vanessa is. I don't really have to explain her all over again. And um, I really like the way it looked, so when I saw it at that store, I went and picked up a bottle for myself. And now I have this super dark, like, maroon color from OPI. And this is in Visions of Love, and it's really pretty. It's like a dark maroon red, and if you don't believe me, here's the sticker to prove it. $3.38, you guys. You really can't beat that for OPI, so I was like, this is a must-have for me. And I'm really trying to expand my OPI collection. So if you guys know of any place to get OPI for a little bit cheaper, because normally I shop eBay when it comes to nail polish, please let me know, because I would love you forever and ever and... And, um, and, and ever. So when I went to Sephora, they actually gave me my birthday present early. And I picked the, um, Makeup Forever lipstick and mascara duo. Because I wanted to try something new. I already had the Benefit one from last year. And I have a bunch of backups of the Their Real Mascara. So I wanted to try something new. And I got the Makeup Forever set for my birthday. Which is February 13th, in case you guys were wondering. And then lastly, my last product of this January beauty haul is this NARS blush. This is my first NARS blush and I'm really excited about it. I've never had a NARS blush before but I've heard very good things about it and it's not the color you guys probably think I got. Um, I actually went for something a little bit different. I do want to get the Orgasm Laguna Duo eventually but I just wasn't ready for it right now because it's winter and I wanted to get a darker blush. So I got this blush right here in Seduction. Actually, since it's winter, I'm kind of obsessed with this deep berry color. When I saw it at Sephora, I was like, I have to have this. I saved up this month and finally took the plunge and I bought this blush and I'm really excited because it's my very first NARS blush. And I know it's kind of expensive. They've raised their prices. It's now $30 for a blush. And I think it's going to be worth it because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. If you guys want a review on any of the things that I mentioned in this haul, go ahead and leave a comment down below about what. And then tell me what you're most looking forward to this month. And I will make sure to get to your product or do a review on it or something like that. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays.